So today I want to show you a new interesting sequencer from CV Funk, the Stepwave. It has a few unique features you might want to experiment with, and I want to start slowly with the basic functionality. As you can see, it's already running, but we can use for more control, we can use also an external clock. So I will use here a clock multiplication of two. I will use also the reset, and we can also use the run function of the clock to have it turn on and off together with the clock, right? Here I have clock from Impromp 2, if and I turn it off, also the sequencer turns off, right? So everything is nicely in sync. By the way, I'm using the Venom um, Bay module, as you can see here I have the input, here I have the output, just to teleport the clock um, cables so the patch is a bit cleaner. Now let's start by sequencing a pitch. We will use this to sequence pitch information. I will use also a quantizer and I have here dark energy as my voice. I will use also the gate output dark energy as a built-in envelope. Right, so now we can start changing the values. You will see this here on the screen. Right, we can start changing the pitch with the sliders. something like this. So now we have a pitch sequence. Now already the first interesting thing we can do is move the timing of each of the steps back and forth with the rhythmic displacement, right, with the knobs here. So for example, I can make this one a bit longer. Right, and create all sorts of different rhythms. Of course, this can be also a bit more wonky. Right, just to create interesting rhythms. I will add some delay to this just for fun. Right, and of course this sequencer is also amazing for modulation, again with this uh, rhythmic displacement. Right here I have it controlling a filter, I have two VCOs going to a filter. And I'm using this for modulation. And again, also here we can change things rhythmic-wise. And if you use this for modulation, you can also add built-in slew. And again, everything you can see live on the screen. And of course, this has also CV input. So here, for example, I have the FM operator. Again, I'm using the sequencer for pitch. And as you can see, I have multiple LFOs modulating the rhythmic displacement. So things are much, much more wonky. Maybe I will solo this for a second. Right, so there is always movement. And just for fun, I have here also another uh, short sequence here with slips, the octaves VCO, and the topographic delay. features we can use. So here I have a sequence with kick all right again I'm sequencing pitch and gates this is going to some delay and I have here some modulation just to add some movement to everything. Right but now we can divide each step of the sequence into multiple beats and get something like ratcheting per step. So for example I can set step 2 to have 2 beats, and again you will be able to see this here on the screen. Right, so now there are 2 gates for this step. Step 3 maybe with 3 beats. We can also turn steps off by turning it, uh, let's say step 4 to have 0 beats. And then step 5, let's say, with 4. 
that and maybe step 8 also with 2 beats. Right, so we get more variation. Now we can also change the shape per step and let me show you what I mean by that. Here I have again a modulation sequence. Palette is my voice and I'm sequencing the filter here. Right, and now I have already a sequence going, but I can change the shape per step with this uh, row here, right? Unipolar and bipolar. Many shapes to choose from. So we have a bit more variation, it's not just stepped voltage. And we can also link the beats to the shapes. So here I have an FM voice, I'm sequencing pitch with slips, sequencing modulation with a step wave. The voice itself is an FM voice with two FM operators, I will solo this for a second. You can see I already have shapes and I already have beats set but now if I link them with this button or with the CV input have a look what happens right now according to the beats we get also the shapes divided right so again just to add more variation more rhythmic variation show you the sample and hold and track and hold functionality of this sequencer. I have here a sequence with the Aorus oscillator also from CV Funk. Right again I'm using the step wave to sequence um, pitch and it's going through a filter and some delay to sound like this. Right now here I also have random voltage with a random module from VCV and I would like to use it to add some movement to the sequence. So for example I can use it to modulate the values of various steps, for example of step 7. Right so now step 7 will always be random or a random note. You can do this also for another step, let's say step 2. Right, so now we have some variation. Now again, by default this will work as a sample and hold, so the value will be sampled together with the gates, but we can also use this as a track and hold. Here I have a modulation sequence, right, I have here the VCO lab and this is uh, sequencing the filter, maybe I will solo this for a second. Right, and you can see I'm using LFOs to modulate the steps, but again, this is by default in sample and hold mode. So we don't get the LFOs, we just get the sampled value whenever this uh, step is active. Right, but again, we have here also track mode or track and hold, and then uh, this will pass through the LFOs on the specific steps. Right, so now again, instead of having now a static value on these steps, we have basically LFOs going through. And also just for fun, I want to show you that this uh, sequencer is also great for sequencing percussive voices like I have here. I'm sequencing a sort of a hi-hat with noise going through a filter, right? And I have the sequencer set with some ratcheting, with some modulation. Now this sequencer can also be a very interesting oscillator, so instead of using a clock, we can use for example a VCO, right, this will be our audio rate clock, the CV output can be for example our audio, 
Now we can set the values to be, let's say, bipolar. Right, I will set all, but now before it gets too loud here, we can use the slew as a built-in filter. Right now I will change all the values we can have, for example, two of them low and two of them high. Right, and again the slew will be our built-in low-pass filter. We can change also the shapes per step, and again, have a look here, this is the final shape we are getting. Something a bit more interesting. Right, we can turn link on and change also the bits. Also modulate the values in track and hold mode with other oscillators. I have two oscillators that are tuned differently, so let's see. Maybe this one. And maybe a saw wave here. interesting shape here you can change the rhythmic displacement sort of a pulse width modulation effect we can also gate this with the on and off Right, something like this. So I have here a Decima, which is another sequencer from the same collection, CV Funk, a gate sequencer. So I'm going to use this to gate it. Right, we can also use an envelope with a filter that I have here. Right, just to make this a bit more punchy. Some delay. Right, this can be quite an interesting uh, percussive voice, also. Let me solo this. You will see I have here a sort of a kick drum. Right, again, I'm using an oscillator to clock it, and I'm also modulating the oscillator's pitch, right, to get this punch. Sequencing it with the on and off. Right, so we get a more of a kick drum sound. We can also use this as a melodic voice. Right, I'm sequencing the oscillators that I'm using here. I'm using one to clock it on, uh, to clock it, and one to turn it on and off at audio rates. There is modulation, as you can see here. And I'm sequencing this with the Penta sequencer, which is also from CV Funk, another sequencer from this beautiful collection. Right, so you can see how much there is to explore with this lovely sequencer and this whole collection really. And please consider supporting the developer. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.